Happy Valentine's Day, hockey fans. I'm Chris Durrell. I'm here for RollerPros.com to bring you my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL Shots of the Night. Before we get started, um, if you're not a Roller Pros member yet, make sure to go over to RollerPros.com. Click on the yellow sign up button top right hand corner. It's going to get you a free 30 day trial. Um, it's going to give you access to our premium articles, our DFS chat room, um, where we've got tons of channels talking hockey, baseball, NFL, NASCAR, PGA, pretty much any sport that you're going to be playing, um, we cover it. So get over it, get your 30, free, 30 day free trial today, and we're pretty sure you're not going to be disappointed. Let's dig into tonight's slate. So we've got 11 games in the slate. The wacky schedule continues in the NHL since the All-Star break. We've got very small slates followed by giant slates. So tonight with the 11 games, Vancouver Canucks are the only team playing on a back-to-back. They're also playing a third game in four nights. And then the Washington Capitals are the only other team playing a third game in four nights. They are in San Jose tonight. So looking at those 11 games, we've got five games that have a six and a half total. We've got another four games that have a five and a half total and then two with a six. So looks like it's going to be, you know, overall pretty high scoring night. Great spot to get some uh, some value throughout your lineups and load up with some stars as well. So there's options all around on these big slates. Um, so that's why I provide this cheat sheet. This is the matchups tab. It's going to go through each individual game, looking at offense, defense, power play, penalty kill, and then some more advanced stats looking at five on five. And then I go each individual position. Um, all the players are listed for example this is the center position we've got stats advanced stats team ranks there as well and then I highlight um, my top plays um, at all positions in each price range green are going to be my core plays on the night blue are my top GPP plays yellow are going to be some nice values that you can use in all formats if you see anyone in red that just means they are injured or out and I update that on all my sheets as news comes in throughout the day Without further ado, let's jump into the Jager Bombs DFS NHL Shots of the Night. We're going to start at the goaltender position tonight. and starts with Andrew Vasilevsky of Tampa Bay Lightning. Biggest favorites on the board at 192. Um, home favorites tonight. He's had his ups and downs this season, but he still sits fourth in save percentage at 925. And he's second in shutouts with four on the season. And he's facing over 31 shots per game. So the floor is there. Um, the win potential is there tonight as well. And... He also has upside. He's got four shutouts, like I said. He's been a lot better at home. The Stars offense, um, it may not look like the greatest of matchups on paper, um, but outside of Tyler Sagan, their offense has struggled, um, especially away from Dallas where they've scored just 15 goals in their last seven road games, and they're 29th on the season in road um, offense as well. Vasilevsky is my top goalie to pay up for tonight and a good play in all formats. If you're looking to save up at the position, I'm definitely looking at Jordan Bennington right now. He is scheduled to be between the pipes for the Blues, um, facing off against Arizona. Um, He stands out as the value option tonight. His price continues to sit in that mid-range despite a terrific start to his rookie season. He's won six straight coming into tonight and sits with a 10-1-1 record on the season with a 9-27 save percentage and two shutouts. And that's for a St. Louis Blues team that's currently on the outside looking in on the playoffs. So um, he's been able to have this kind of success on, you know, a less than optimal team, um, especially from the offensive side to get him those wins. So he's been really good on the season. Uh, He's a minus 155 favorite tonight facing the Coyotes team that has been a little bit better um, as of late. But overall, they still rank 28th in offense on the season. And he is in play, Binnington is in play in all formats, and especially on FanDuel, um, where he is only 8,000. So he stands out a little bit more from a points per dollar standpoint on FanDuel tonight, um, but definitely in play on both. At the center position, I'm looking at Dylan Larkin as my number one option. Um, He's picked up right where he left off before the injury. He's got points in three of his last four games, providing a high floor with five-plus shots in six of his last eight games overall. And that floor is backed up by 10.7 shots per 60 and 18.02 individual Corsi on the season. Tons of opportunity, skating 21.9 minutes of ice time per game, which puts him right among the leaders when looking at forwards. He's got a plus matchup against the Sens, who ranked dead last in road defense, allowing 4.4 goals per game. He's my top center of the night and a great play in all formats. Dipping down a little bit into the 6K range, mid-6K range on both sides, I like Thomas Hurdle tonight as well. Sharks um, have moved into leading the Western Conference in large part to their offense that has been averaging 4.4 goals per game over their last 16, in which they've won 13 of those. Hurdle comes in red hot with multi-point efforts in three straight and five of his last 10 games. 
Um, he can also be considered in cash games, not just an upside play. The shot volume has trended up lately, 26 shots in his last 10 games, and he is skating over 19 minutes per game on the second line, and he also jumps up to the top power play unit there as well. The uh, Capitals, you know, the, again, another matchup that may not look great on paper, the defending Stanley Cup champions, but the Capitals are playing a third game in four nights in California, and they do rank 24th on road defense on the season. Um, so the San Jose guys, Hurdle, Kane, um, even get up there in a Couture, Pavelski, uh, probably not Burns, but some of those forwards are definitely going to be maybe a little bit under own just because of the name of the Washington Capitals defending champions. But I do like the matchup tonight uh, for San Jose at home. We'll be using Hurdle in all formats and pairing him with Evander Kane as my elite two-man stack tonight uh, in cash or GPP. Moving on to the winger position, um, I list two Chicago our Blackhawks are my top team to target tonight. So I'm going to be listening to two players, Patrick Kane and Alex Debrinkit. Kane's on the top line with Taves. Uh, Debrinkit's on the second line with Ryan, St- or sorry, Dylan Strom. Um, I like both those two man combinations. I also like g- getting these two guys together just simply because it gives you exposure to um, the top two lines um, re- at regular strength and then as well as the top power play unit there as well. So it makes for a good cash game uh, two-man stack there as well even though it is expensive Kane is kind of getting to those peak prices but he deserves it as he enters tonight with a 15 game point streak which includes nine multi-point efforts and 32 total points he's got an elite floor he averages over four shots per game with a 19.2 individual Corsi on the season and then for Debrinket, he skates on the second line but like I said he joins uh, Kane and Taves in the top power play unit and he's also been red hot lately with 16 points Six on the power play in his last 10 games. Devils are fresh off, giving up eight goals uh, in St. Louis the other night on Tuesday and ranked 29th in road defense in the season. Been talking about loading up against New Jersey whenever they're on the road um, all year, and I will continue to do that tonight with the Red Hot Blackhawks. If you're looking for value, I'm definitely looking at Tyler Toffoli. King's offense has been better as of late, and Toffoli has played a big role in that. He comes in with points in five straight, eight of his last 10 games, with 28 shots on goal. Um, a high floor is a high floor player who sits uh, 9.7 shots per 60 and 17.4 individual Corsi on the season. Both well above average numbers there when looking at the advanced stats. Not the greatest matchup as the Canucks do sit mid pack, but they are playing on a back to back in the third game in four nights. And I will be targeting to Foley um, just with his floor and his upside tonight in all formats, and especially on DraftKings where he's still at 4,900. Um, it's a lot closer to a to a GPP play on FanDuel at 6K, but everything considered, I still will use him in cash, but his best value definitely is on DraftKings tonight. Moving over to the defense position, uh, top guy tonight for me. Um, I mean, if you're using Bennington and Nett for his value, it makes sense um, to pay up for Burns or Giordano, both elite plays at the position each and every night with a high floor, really high upside, both skate, um, get a ton of ice time out there. But I'm going to be going with a balanced route and starts with uh Jacob Truba. Tons of ice time, gets 22 plus minutes per game on the top pairing and the second power play unit, and a very high floor lately combined. He has a combined four or more shots and blocks in 11 of his last 12 games, and in that time, his average 2.4 shots and 2.5 blocks per game, and he's also added eight points. Top points per dollar defenseman on the slate, using him in all formats. If you're looking to maybe punt the position tonight, maybe if you are going with a Burns or Giordano, I'd like going with Vince Dunn of St. Louis. Um, He's my top value play on defense tonight. He skates in the third pairing, but he has been getting over two minutes per game on the season uh, when looking at the power play ice time there as well. He's tallied three plus shots in five of his last six games and and his average 3.1 DraftKings, 10.6 FanDuel points per game over his last 10 so he's been very consistent he's only 4100 on both sides plays the power play gets lots of ice time and is in a good matchup against the coyotes tonight so definitely like him for value helps you load up like i said getting either burns or giordano or multiple forwards you know if you're looking at the Kane to bring it combination vince dunn fits the profile as a nice cheap value play on defense tonight that covers all my Jaeger Bombs dfs nhl shots of the night my core plays for tonight if you have any questions definitely head over to the roto pros um community chat hit me up there i'll be around all day you can hit me up in the comments of this video and you can also hit me up on twitter at jaeger underscore bombs nine make sure to get over and get that 30-day free trial 
Um, and also, if you can like the video below, it helps out a ton. And subscribe to the channel as you'll get notifications as more videos come out. Monday, Wednesday, Friday have been our NBA videos. We've got the NBA All-Star break coming up, um, so don't expect any videos until next week. But Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are our NBA. I do these NHL videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Got a NASCAR video coming out for the Daytona 500 tomorrow. Uh, qualifying for those dual races is tonight. Um, we've got PGA videos that come out every Tuesday and Wednesday. So there's a lot going on in the YouTube channel, a lot going on overall in the Roto Pros community. Um, so make sure to get in, talk with us. Let's see some green screens. Good luck tonight, everyone.